Hey guys, I'm Lauren, and today I'm going to be filming a very long overview video, uh, which is a flip through of my new bullet journal. So I did start a new bullet journal on, I'll make things small, but this was my old one. You guys had seen a flip through of it, um, and not necessarily a flip through, just kind of like a setup. So if you guys want to see a flip through through all of this, then definitely comment down below. Um, and I will try to do that. I kind of like dropped the ball at the end of it. So in this bullet journal, it has just August. And so I don't know if you guys, I know it's like August has already started, but it, you know, hopefully this will give you guys ideas if you need more ideas for next month or something. I don't know. But um, anyway, so yeah, this is my flip through and August um, flip through, I guess. It's not really a setup because I'm not setting it up. But anyway, so this is just a yellow Lloyd's term, um, 1917, and I just put this uh, vinyl sticker that says Take the Long Way Home. I love these little doodles, and yeah, um, let's get into it. Oh yeah, and then on the back, I have this like yellow washi tape, and then this is a band that I recently saw play, and they're called Sawyer. You should definitely check them out, they're really good, it's two girls, um... I forgot to take this, okay, I have like a sticky note like this with all of my information on it, and so I just took that out, but anyway, so yeah, I'll just get into it. So first page, uh, like I said, I have a sticky note in there, and then this is my boyfriend and I. Um, this is my index, nothing really special, I just have a couple pictures that just make me happy, I took this one at a soccer game. And so I always think of that. Um, I'm really trying to use my index more. Uh, I can show you guys in my last one. This is my entire bullet journal in, um, like, I don't know, three-fourths of a page. Um, this was all the months, and so I'm trying to do a month and then say what's going on in the month. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, and as you can see, I don't have all of my collection like I did in this one, I put all of my collections here. I don't have that in this one, and I'll show you guys how I set that up. So first thing I have is my future log. Um, I just use six months in advance because I know for a fact that I will be stopping and starting a new one in January, and so um, I just know that there is no chance that it's going to go past that. And really, if I run out of room, then I'm probably going to try and figure out another way just to get this bullet journal through the new year. Um, I don't have anything. I don't usually use a future log that often, but it's nice to have. Um, I have a concert, which is that band I was telling you guys about, but that's pretty much it. Last year, I went for a very minimalistic um, view on my future log. I'll show you guys. I mean, it's like the same thing, but so this is last year's. Um, I'm trying to kind of, I like the more busy look, so you guys will see that. Um, I went to a camp and I want to do kind of like a spread with pictures for that. Um, I have some to-dos and a packing list, I'm just going to use this for uh, sticky notes. Then we get into August, and so before we go through August, I'm just going to show you guys the collections that I keep in the back of my journal. So I have a pen test page, and then a couple blank pages, and then my collections. So this is a bucket list. Um, the page before this was like a date ideas list, but it has some private things on it. So it's just an, an idea for um, dates to go on. But so this is a bucket list page. It did not change from my previous bucket list because I just love this washi tape and how the writing looks. As you can see, I've already started crossing things off, which is pretty cool. Then I have a new word spread. I have not used this yet, but it's just like I'm going to write a word that I don't know. Like it could be a really cool word. And then like the uh, part of speech and then the definition. And I just want to work on expanding my vocabulary, so I have it there. Uh, playlists for new music, goals, um, these pages. None of my collections really changed a whole lot. Um, I have books to read and to watch. Um, I just kind of gave plenty of room just because, you know, I know that I'm not going to be able to finish this in six months because my other bullet journal was like seven or eight months and with a lot of empty space. So 
and I have TV shows and the stuff that I want to get or need to get. Um, currently the only thing on there is the mild liners that I guess they're selling at Target. Uh, this is just like a packing list that I know I'll use like if I go on any trip. Um, I used this when I went to Eastern Washington in Canada and at camp, so it's just kind of like a universal. Um, I have been trying to read the Bible more, so I have plans that I'm doing and verses of the day. And that is all I have so far, so now we can get back to August. And you guys will know from my Muji haul that I did recently, I've been using... That's it. Um, I've been using little page flags. Uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, so I've been using these little page flags, and I just have them right in here. So these have been great. Um, I use them also throughout my calendar. And the pen I write with is the Muji. This is not the right one. <laughs> I got the wrong pen out. Um, it is the Muji uh, 3.8. I do all of the, um, like, the decoration. So this, like, the drawing in the 0.05. This is still not the right one. It's the blue one. Um, in the black 0.05. There we go. Now I've got it on straight. Um, anyway, so yeah, this is my cover page. I am doing sunflowers, and I did try to make this particular um, spread very busy, and because that's kind of how I wanted to do it. Like, I don't have much going on, and it just makes me happy to look and turn over a page that's just completely full of flowers or happy things. So that is what I have here. So this is my weekly spread, lots of color, lots of yellow. I've been really liking the color yellow lately, and so, um, yeah, I kind of went with it. I've got lots of flowers and uh, this kind of like yellow banner, um, and then I've kind of got like a gray accent color. So I did end up pretty much doing three colors for this, which is different from my usual like one or two colors. So it's this yellow, well, lots of different yellows, and then... Um, the green and the uh, gray. So those are the colors I have. And you can see from these like little sticky notes, I've got lots of them. <laughs> and then this is just my mood tracker. Um, lots of flowers all over. Um, this is my, I wouldn't do this key again because the yellows all look the same. And then this is my habit tracker. Um, again, lots of flowers, lots of, very busy. This says, uh, you belong among the wildflowers. And I have lots of flower quotes. Um, and I just do a dot on one of the dots to symbolize the things that I did. A couple of the things I have are just like read the Bible, write, put on sunscreen because I burn like crazy, walk my dog, do like my face routines, drink water, paint, lots of stuff. Um, and I did, this took me forever to draw out the circle and the flowers, but I love the way it looks in the end. And then this is just my one line a day and a quote that says, keep your face to the sunshine and you cannot see the shadows. That is what the sunflowers do and it's by Helen Keller. Um, I've been really liking doing this one line a day and it's my first time trying it and I think it works really well. This is my first week, uh, super simple. I did the boxes really small because I knew I was going to be on vacation for most of the week and um, I knew I was gonna have a lot of stuff or I wasn't gonna have a lot of stuff going on when I got back so um, clearly I didn't um, I did just draw three big flowers and then this quote this is bloom where you're planted my weeks do look very similar which I don't mind because I always do this horizontal box layout and then the week that we are currently on over, is this week and um, I did the boxes a little bit bigger than this one. I think this has uh, five in the middle here, so it's about uh, six dots long, I believe. Um, and I just went crazy with flowers. I wanted flowers everywhere that I could fit them, and so um, I went really crazy. And then I have uh, no rain, no flowers, and um, yeah, I love it. I love the way it looks. Uh, I love doing this writing here. And so I did that with the green accents, um, lots of grays, just kind of went overboard. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is all of the uh, bullet journaling that I have done so far. Um, 
I can link the products that I use in the description. I pretty much only use my Muji pens for all of the headers. I've been using the Hexagonal, which hasn't necessarily been my favorite pen just because the black isn't like a true black. It's more kind of like a gray, but I mean, it works out. And then I've been using my mini ruler. You can get these anywhere, super cheap. And just like grab them out of this like plastic container since we love. Um, my Tombow Fudenoski brush pens. I don't know how to pronounce that, but um, I have those two in hard and soft tip. And then just this uh, array of Tombow dual brush pens, which I can link down below. Um, I pretty much only use these two yellow and then these green and like one of the um, gray. Uh, I put it in this clear container because I'm going to be traveling soon and so this just like keeps them all together and I can just slide it in with my bullet journal and then I also use the Crayola Super Tips in some of the yellow colors. But anyway, so that is what I've been using. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little longer and way overdue. Um, I'll try to stay up to date on um, uploading, especially for like September and uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been like, I know I had my Muji haul video, which you guys should go check out. Um, but other than that, it's been like a year. So let's hope that I stick to this. And I hope you guys enjoyed my um, video. If you guys want to see more, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and tell me what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.